Sorry about the rooster in the background. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're gonna get the Swift. I've got some King Springs to lower it. We're gonna lower it about 30, 40 mil. Um, I've also got a set of 18 inch rims that I wanna throw on it just to dress it up a little bit. Uh, and I've also had the tinting done, so let's get to it. All right, guys, as you can see there, that's the, uh, the original little Suzuki wheel. That comes with a 15 inch, so, I got a bit excited and went and bought some 18s. That's what's going to go on it. So to compare, what was that? And now it's going to have that. All right, guys, let's uh, pop the bonnet. See what needs to come off in here to get top of the strut clips three four there is one here but it's actually missing rub up take that off Rubber boot, little rubber boot. Got our nut, there is an Allen key in there. So I've just undone it enough so it's just hanging there. Alright, now let's lift this baby back up and we'll crack a few bolts and get the struts out. Alright, let's get this strut off. So first we're going to take the linkage off. So it does have an Allen key, it's four mil. Okay, and we'll try and crack it. I'm assuming it's probably been on for a while. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Let's just get that out of the way. We'll put the nut back on so we don't lose it. Hopefully I'm not in your way. Let's pop this off. ABS sensor, we'll crack that. That'll be a 12 mil. That just holds a brake line. Can't get that out of the way. I'll put the bolt back in once again. 17 mil. All right, let's get the brake apart. on tight. Attached. And we've just got that bolt up top which is still fairly loose. Should just be able to get it off and it'll drop down. Okay. There you go. One strut. Alright guys, let's get this strut off. Get this on. Okay, let's get the right bit. Just go easy. Just, there is a bit of pressure there. Now I'll go almost all the way out and I'm going to take a bit of pressure. Take a little bit of pressure off. Okay, so we're 
So we've got, and then we'll just lay it out. So we've got the bolt. Not looking too healthy, is it? Like somewhat of a washer. All right, guys, it's actually the next day. Uh, if you recall, I pulled this out of the top of the, uh, the shock um, after doing a bit of research, is what I found is this is what it should be. Okay, this little thing here. Now it's a bearing which sits in between the sort of the top mount and the bottom mount. Um, okay, and the shop which I'll show you, the part number for that is I just got one from my local Suzuki. Guys, let's compare these two. So there's a bit of difference, as you can see. The original one, the black, and the King Springs. For the front, it's quite a bit different. So let's get it in. All right, so spring. Cover. So it's just stuck in there. She's stuck. Right guys, so let's drop this back in. Now I still have the bolt just sitting up top there. So let's line this up, gauge it if I can. Got it. It's in. So now we'll line this up, get a bolt ready. Bolts did go on that way, so we'll put it back the same. One. Two. Loosely do that. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we are good. It's on the right side. So I'm just going to torque these. See if I can find the right one. Here. Okay. Click. Top, top one. Click. Right, we'll get this back in. Make sure that's sitting in right. Don't have to overdo those. Put this rubber back in. Just click that in. All right. Now we've got this has got to go back in. Torsion bar link. Let's 
So we just do this one up. Might not need the Allen key. But there is an Allen key on it. No, I think we're good. All right, so there's no need for me to show you the other side because I've just shown you here. All right, guys, let's do these back springs. They look pretty easy. Um, I think we release a shock. It should all just drop down. I suppose we could put a... Um, I'll put some lube on this. Oh, it'll come up pretty easy. All right, now we'll get a screwdriver and we'll just pop that off. Now, so what I'll do is I'm going to put just a, a bar on a jack, just supporting, just supporting it, just in case. Let's have a look what we've got here. Okay. Now, just to stop it from, because it will want to spring out. As you can see, all right, she's just come down, slow that down a little bit. All right, now I should be able to pry this out. So, oh, yep. Not really. Oh, all right, that's one. Right, guys, just looking at the difference, yeah, there's a bit of difference in that. Not as much as the front ones, but definitely a bit different. All right, let's get it back in. Don't think it's going to be too difficult, being a bit lower. So I'm just going to try and line up the old marks. Get that out of the way. Spin it around. Now there is some notches. in these bottom boots so I'm just trying to line it up all right so let's jack it up and get the um, shock back in place Get rid of the jack. Beautiful. All right, let's do this bolt. All right, so that's all sitting in okay. That's sitting into that notch. That's good. All right, let's get the other one done. I won't show you the process, but let's get it done and then we'll set it down and have a look. All right, guys, let's do this up. Put our beauty cover on. Much better. Okay, and now our little clips. Don't know what's happened here. Someone's chewed that out. Obviously, try and take. All right, guys, here's a look at it now, lowered with and also with the wheels and tint. It's looking pretty cool. It's probably dropped at about 30 mil. So, 
it's looking pretty mean, it's a bit dirty, but she's looking pretty sweet now.